Oh, my dad. Hi, my dad. Go face a break. Welcome everyone back to the channel. Today is going to be somewhat of a different video. As the new year comes, so does another vessel. Another boat deck to dangle off of y'all and well today is going to be the last ride that I ever take in this boat. Alrighty guys, today's dangle is sponsored by Mystery Tackle Box. For all you new fishing freaks that haven't signed up for a Mystery Tackle Box yet, you can visit the link in the description and get $10 off your first box subscription. And when you visit shopcarls.com, you'll notice it's a full-blown tackle website. And if you want to save big on tackle, you can sign up to be a Carl's Club member and even receive 30% off all of your boxes. Besides just saving money by getting your tackle bundle in these boxes, you're also going to receive tips, educational techniques on how to catch more fish, and entertaining content. So it's not just tackle, and if you're looking for in-depth techniques, you gotta subscribe to Carl's Mystery Tackle Box channel on YouTube, and go subscribe to the Guggen Squad channel. I'm looking forward to 2019. So many awesome collaborations, and some we've already done that you guys haven't seen yet, so stay tuned for more action. Thank you, MTB, and let's get on with the last ride with this boat. She feels good, especially for a cold winter day. I interrupt that just to say we have shad on a little hump there deep. Looks like one bass on it. Really what I need to do today is I need to have a memorable catch and I need to clean this boat out to get ready to, uh, to get another one and then I, I'm going to Mexico. So I need to get everything out of here that I think I might need for Mexico. So you and I and this boat and the airplanes, I guess, are gonna be hanging out for a while. I added this because it's such an awesome lure. <laughs> I don't think this was in the box though. I definitely want to throw that today just because it's really cold. We have a crawfish crank. It's actually good for this lake. Might try that. It's a little shallow for a cold day. Maybe if it's sunny and they're up shallow. Looks like we got a little finesse uh, cutter style worm. Mismo tube. We've got a uh, strike pro shad looking thingamadoodle. We've got a uh, like ultra finesse situation here. That's like a crappie dangle. A Dobbins quarter ounce football jig. Very good. Love that. And we got a uh, Lucky John Yakira 62, which is basically a lipids crankbait. 27 feet of water. And I've just got a, I, I just, I shut down the boat, came across just a clump of fish. It was like everything out here hanging out in, you know, 30 to 25. This area right here has got deep water close to it, so I'm fishing the deep right now, just seeing if, if anything will bite here. And then I don't feel bad about fishing up shallow when it's close to deep water. However, it's not a very sunny day. <sighs> I've got a little one pecking at my lure. Oh, I got one. Oh boy. It is the smallest white bass ever. Woo. Back down there. These puppies are deep. They're liking it deep. They like it sitting still. Look at that. Boom. Why can't we just be a big old largey? Huh? A big old largey in there. So look how pale this fish is. See you, boy. Oh, it feels good just to get something to bite. There's another one. 
I'm not even moving this thing. Got him. <laughs> Sitting still. Golly. That is a fatty McFatty. Man. If it wasn't the winter feasting right now with all the holiday foods, I'd probably be keeping some of these. I love this lure. It's awesome. Catches everything. Why? What am I doing to myself out here? Oh, oh man. Oh, my dad. I'm a dad go fishing freak. Ah, I just ran across the lake and it got a little cold. I think my nose froze. I'm, I'm idling around a big point right now trying to see if there's any fish way out deep. Ooh, man. My kneecaps feel frozen. Mustache is not helping. Should have grew a thicker one, man. Well, there are a couple of blue herons over here. That's, that's a promising sign. They sure do look docile, though. <sighs> okay. I've been fishing for like an hour. I'm, my fingers are going downhill. This is getting troublesome. It's come to this. I'm going with this, this little football jig. I'm gonna fish it slow. Ooh, I like this color a lot. Rubber thing on that hook, wanna make sure we take that off. I'm gonna put this on right here and I'm just gonna go slow around these rocks. Oh my gosh. So I've got my fingers trying to keep warm. This might have been a bad move coming out here. Ooh. I could have just sat sat at the tree house in the boat and admired it. I got a knot tied. Now, I don't want to use a trailer that's got a lot of action because it's not going to fit in when the water's 50, 50 degrees. So oh, let's see here. Kind of just a flapper. That's all it is. Just a flapper. Alrighty. Now we fish slow. Now we grind. Come on, big juicy. Oh my gosh. What am I doing? I'm an idiot for being out here. Oh, that was definitely one of the harder sessions of my life. I was like, oh, I'll just go out there and see. Never know, might get a big one. Did not get a big one. Did not get hardly anything except for some white bass. So now I have to live with that memory. Hands are frozen. It's time to warm up a little bit before I dig into this boat. We're gonna go exploring inside of there. We're gonna find some goodies. And then one of you guys is gonna go home with them. Not really good home, and they're gonna be sent to you. I need some warm tea or something. Let's see what OSG's got in here. Babe, do you have any tea? Something warm. Who are you chilled? I am so chilled. My bones are frozen. Just woke up. You're like dazed. She's like, what is that? What is going on? Oh. oh yeah. That's about like my fishing day right there. It was just a big yawn. Aw. G. Chai. Don't know, I don't know. I don't know what this is for, really. Some crisps, cookies, get the metabolism going. Oh. We're basically gonna unbox this boat. All the old lures and everything. And then I'm gonna take a bunch of lures that I no longer need or want and put them in this box. And then one of you is going to get it. Maybe there's even something really cool in here I'll put in there, I don't know. So let's get it, let's jump in this boat and let's see what we got. So I already took out all of my rods, which uh, some of them are in pretty rough condition. I've beat them up, so are my reels. 2019, I'm telling you, I have the best feeling. There's a lot of big things coming uh, that you guys are gonna see and discover. So what I'm hitting at is there's some of the stuff in here that's kind of gonna be obsolete next year. Uh, or upgraded or something totally different that I'm gonna be using. I'm gonna be giving a lot of this stuff away to you guys. Right in here, we have got a bunch of baits. Well, looks like you guys are in luck. Um, some of these are not gonna be fully, you're just gonna have to deal with it. That one has nothing, so we'll just throw that away. Chatterbait, wabam. Uh, these are awesome, wabam. I'm just gonna start throwing a lot of plastics in here. Now this is my favorite, you can't have that one. Worms, here's a frog, 
used. Not sure if it's caught anything. Probably has. Yeah, it's got teeth marks. All you guys. Spinner baits. More swim baits. More spinner baits. Obviously, I've got to keep some of the Guggen baits that are in here. As you guys know, they are a hot item. They've been selling very well, and I haven't gotten my hands on any in a while, so I'm having to be kind of conservative with them. There's a spinner bait just randomly in there. Looks pretty good. You want it? I think you do. What are we talking about here? I've got, what is this? I've got ammo cans full of stuff. There's beavers. Flipping baits. Look what we got here. Some flippings. Flipping, flipping, flipping. This one from today. Go with you guys. We found some swimmers. Oh boy. We've got all these trays I need to take out. Every one of these bad boys. That looks like a good one right there. Oh, I've got extra rods in here I didn't even know I had. Where the heck did you guys come from? Oh, let's see what we got. Oh my gosh, these are crusty. These are some old big sexies. Look at the mold on these dudes. That is nasty. Ugh. There's a brand new favorite emperor right there. Never even used. Let me know in the comments, but I definitely do have some older rods. You know, some of them are missing guides and they just have, um, you know, blemishes. I'm probably not gonna use them this next season. So if you guys want uh, me, maybe I'll talk to the other, the Guggens and see if we can uh, put together some sort of like used rod giveaway. First meetup of the year, January 13th, I will be at Fun and Sun. I will be at Fun and Sun. Uh, after I get back from Mexico. They have a boat and tackle show there and uh, I will be there. So maybe I'll bring some of these rods. Well y'all, it's starting to get dark and it is going to rain. There's another one of my reels I need. There's, ooh, ooh, forgot about the day box. I'm gonna hook you guys up with some of the leftovers in the, in the, in the day box here. But I gotta hurry up because I still gotta pack a lot of stuff for Mexico and I gotta clear this boat out. When I get back, this boat is going to the de dealership to be sold so it needs to be clean. God bless her soul, she's been a good horse. I think my biggest bass out of this boat was upper eights, possibly nine this year. Upper eights, possibly nine. I know eight for sure. No double digits, but maybe on the next one. And these are the rods that came about. Okay, I'm getting packed up and ready for takeoff, baby. I've got the boat cleaned out. All my trays are inside. I've got a bunch of my my rods in here and now it's just time to prep for mexico i'm not going to be uploading for a little while probably five days to a week while i'm in mexico obviously don't have service down there you don't want to miss what's going to happen though so subscribe hit the notifications so when i get back and we start uploading these videos but we're going to have an epic dangle he likes to listen to you talk i know it she likes me because I'm silly. Make sure to leave a comment down below and then I'll pick a winner. You guys will receive the uh, LFG Rando box out of the book. And that is all I've got for you today, y'all. Make sure to stay safe out there on New Year's. Don't be, uh, you know, dangling on that whiskey too hard. And I'll see you guys on the next one.